This is Justin okay. Langsworth uh, from. Oh, cool. Paid $39 for this little white plug, so I had to get some value out of it. Uh huh. Okay, so I'm Justin Langsworth, President and CTO of Clarebridge. Uh, hey, quick on uh, what we do we do uh, full NLP, sentiment analysis, categorization. We're focused mostly on the customer experience space. Um, and as you can see, sentiment scoring is kind of central to what we do. The sentiment engine is a big part of why our customers want before. to use Clarebridge. Uh, who these people are? Oops. Come on, my God. Who these people are is a who's who of the Fortune 100. A lot of big companies who really want to understand what their customers are saying about them, regardless of source. Whether it's on social media, whether it's on blogs, whether it's on review sites, or whether it's provided directly to them through surveys or through call center notes, or through any kind of internal source data. We bring all that together and then analyze the concepts and topics that they're talking about, track trends, stuff like that. We do this for uh, GE, for Walmart, for Best Buy, and for very big companies. So uh, kind of how we do this, I'm going to drill into a verbatim here. Uh, we do a lot of work with hotels. So if I had this hotel <coughs> review that I found somewhere, you can see there's a lot of positive and negative things being expressed within this review. Um, I'm going to drill into one particular sentence here in this review, which says, the bed was extremely uncomfortable and the internet was slightly too slow. So even within this one sentence, we see a whole bunch of interesting stuff going on. Let's drill in a little bit here. And what Clarebridge does is it does a full natural language parse of every sentence it encounters. And it looks at everything that's going on in that sentence and attributes the sentiments to what they're talking about. Okay. So if we zoom into the left-hand side of the sentence, the part where they said the bed is extremely uncomfortable, we can see the little NLP parse of that clause of the sentence. And we see that there's a topic or concept being talked about here, which is around bed comfort. And uh, this isn't the concept detection conference, so I won't talk about exactly how we do that part, but our out-of-the-box uh, lodging and hospitality ontology recognized this as a comment about bed comfort. So zooming in then on sentiment, we want to know, well, is this a positive or negative comment about the bed comfort? And we can see here the word uncomfortable, which again in the hotel uh, world and most other ontologies as well, is a negative sentiment. And Clara Rich, we score sentiments from negative five to positive five, and uncomfortable out-of-the-box is a negative three. It can be adjusted by the user if they want to. Also in this case, we see that there's a modifier, or extremely, it's a circumstance of the uncomfort. In the extremely modifier, it makes this even more negative than it would have been otherwise. It reduces the sentiment score by another point, and brings this expression of sentiment to negative four, around bed comfort. And that is all just from the left-hand side of the sentence. If we look at the right-hand side of the sentence, we see there's another thing going on. I won't go through all the details in the interest of time. But this is a slightly less negative comment. It's a negative comment about internet speed, but it's not as negative, because they said it's only slightly too slow, so bearable. So it wasn't as negative as a comment about the bed comfort. Again, it's important to sort all that out properly. So we see from just that one sentence that there was a, pot, you know, a very negative comment about one thing, and there's a slightly less negative comment about another. If we go look at the whole rest of this verbatim, you know, we might say, OK, overall, is this a positive uh, document or a negative document? And uh, most of what our customers want to do is not document level analysis. I know a lot of people in the media industry want to do that. But we really want to drill into the little subtopics or themes expressed within the document and tease out all of the sentiments. So really, this isn't either positive or negative. It's really a whole bunch of different things. It's very subtle. We see that there's people saying uh, neutral things about where the hotel is, uh, very positive things about the cost of the breakfast and the valet parking. But at the end, they uh, said, you know, great stay, not. Um, that's what we call the Borat rule, which uh, is, uh, means it's an overall negative thing. And the thing like the not will negate that sentiment. And other things like where they said, you know, the hotel used to be great. That's not, it's not great anymore. So even though they said it was great in the past, that's not great. So that's a negative sentiment. Um, so there's all kinds of various ways that we use the linguistics to negate sentiments, to change the way they're expressed. Um, don't have time to go into all of those. Um, but you get a kind of idea. So kind of the net net is that sentiment is subtle. It's generally not, at least in the work we do, kind of at the document level. Usually there's lots of pros and cons. People will express things. They'll say three positive things before they throw in that kind of one zinger. That's the negative. Um, and you really need to tease out all of this sentiment separately. And that's why we use this full linguistic sentiment analysis. There are lots of people in the room, some people in the room here today who do it this way, who don't just use statistics or machine learning, although those are both valid things and we use those in certain ways. But the full NLP parse, every sentence, we feel is very important to tease out those sentiments appropriately. Uh, 
Any of you want to give this a try, we offer here on the Clarebridge.com website what we call our self-service capability. You can go on to Clarebridge.com, you can click on that link, you can sign up, and we'll give you an account where you can actually upload some of your own data and apply one of the out-of-the-box ontologies and see how the segment works uh, yourself. So with that, I'm out of time. I think I signed up for that.